Welcome to Code Crush Coding. In this video, we are going to learn difference between hash map and tree map in Java. We have already covered the basic concepts of both these classes, hash map and tree map. You can watch in the playlist I have also provided in the description. So let's see the difference between hash map and tree map. So we already know hash map and tree map are the classes that implements the map interface. And map interface is not a part of collection interface. So why it is not a part of collection interface? Because in collection interface, all other classes such as array list, hat set, linked hat set, or linked array list, all these store just the value. But the map interface store key as well as value. So key value here. And there is a method called put, which takes two arguments, key and value, right? To store these particular values. Now hash map and tree map are both part of Java's collection framework, but they don't extend the collection interface, which is implemented by the list interface or set interface. Both are used to store key value pairs. Now what is the difference actually? So hash map. So hash map does not maintain any order of keys. So when you print the hash map, you will not get in the same order in which you have inserted. So it does not maintain any order. But tree map maintains keys in a sorted order. So by default, the natural order, which is the ascending order in which tree map stores the value. Also, hash map allows one null key and multiple null values. Why it allows multiple null values? Because duplicate values are allowed. And why it allows only one null key? Because key should be unique. And in tree map, it does not allow null key, but allows multiple null values. Null keys cannot be stored in tree map. Why null keys cannot be stored? Because tree map uses compare to method to compare the keys in order to store it in a ascending order. So compare to method gives a null pointer exception when it encounters a null key. Now this is the theory. Now let's try to see these things in our code. So here I have a class called demo. Inside this class, I have declared one hash map. The name of hash map is S1 and this takes key as a string and value as an integer and we have added some values here and we are trying to print this particular hash map. In same way we have a tree map, same type key is of type string, value is of type integer, name is S2 and we are adding same values inside this tree map and also in the hash map. Now let's try to see the difference here when we are trying to printing it. So here you could see hash map is not printing in the same order in which we have inserted. First we have entered John, Tom, Mike, but we are getting Mike, Tom, John. And in tree map you could see the values are in ascending order of key. So first J, then M, then T. So this is a sorting order in which we have got the values in tree map. But in case of hash map it is unordered. Second thing we need to see for the null. So if I provide your null values, so let's say null, so duplicate nulls are allowed, right? Also in tree map, we will add the null values, null, null, let's run this code. So we are able to get the output. So the order is same for the tree map and here it is unordered. So here we could see we can have multiple null values in both. But let's try to add more than one null key in hash map. So let's say here this is also a null. And let's try to add one more key which will be null s1 dot put s1 dot put null and let's provide here some random value let's say 10 and run this code. So here we are getting the output null is equal to 10. So key is only a single null right we have added two nulls but it has taken only one null. So how it works we already know we have seen in the previous videos. So first time the key is null value is null. Again it says it has null key. So it will update the old value with the new one. So earlier it had it was having the value null. So it has updated it to 10. So we are getting here 10. Other values are same. Tom null John Pi. And now we will try to add a null key 
for a tree map. We already know we cannot add a null inside the tree map. So if I try to run this code, there is no compile time error, right? We can't run it. But there is a runtime error. The runtime error says null pointer exception. We have printed here the hash map, but tree map cannot have the null values. So this is the main difference between a hash map and tree map. The order in which they store the elements and what about the null keys and null values. That's it in this video. We will see another topic in next video. Thank you for watching. Thank you.